There was significant buzz around FN America's booth at SHOT Show 2023 a couple of months ago. FN America unveiled a brand new rifle, developed for a US government requirement. I had the chance to take a look at the new rifle and speak to FN about it. The new individual weapon system chambered in a new .264 round was on display in a case tucked away in the military section of FN America's booth. On first sight you might mistake the rifle for a SCAR H or an AR-10 pattern marksman's rifle, but on closer inspection the rifle is a very different beast. With the weapon displayed inside a brightly lit case it was tricky to get decent footage and this is the best I could get. FN explained that the new weapon and ammunition was developed for the Irregular Warfare Technology Support Directorate or IWTSD. Interestingly the aim for the project was to provide overmatch against emerging great power competitors and future threats. A very similar goal to the US Army's next generation squad weapon system which coalesced on a 6.8mm round. What is IWTSD? The Irregular Warfare Technology Support Directorate is responsible for carrying out research and development to support the US and allied organisations involved in irregular warfare. Originally set up in 1999 as the Combating Terrorism Technical Support Office, its name was changed in 2021. The Department of Defence defines the Irregular Warfare Technology Support Directorate's role as to identify and develop capabilities for the DoD to conduct irregular warfare against all adversaries, including great power competitors and non-state actors, and to deliver these capabilities to DoD components and interagency partners through rapid research and development, advanced studies and technical innovation, and provision of support to US military operations. The IWS chambers the Lightweight Intermediate Calibre Cartridge, or LICC, developed from 0.264 USA. The 6.5 by 43 mm round uses a steel case, which FN America says reduces weight by 20% compared to equivalent brass. No data on velocities has been released yet. The round has a two-piece lightweight steel design with a stainless steel head and case body. A variety of loads have been developed with a number of different projectiles, including a 130 grain reduced ricochet limited penetration round, a 109 grain copper open tip match, a 120 grain copper open tip match, and a soft nose 125 grain cartridge. To date, FN haven't released any data on the round's performance. According to the IWTSD's 2019 Broad Agency Announcement, or BAA, which outlined the program's requirements, polymer-cased ammunition was considered and two proof-of-concept rounds were desired for Phase 1. A 108-grain open-tip match projectile with a muzzle velocity of 2,650 feet per second from an 11.5-inch test barrel, and a frangible training round. In Phase 2, IWTSD required combat barrier rounds loaded with special operations science and technology style projectiles and an M855A1 style enhanced penetration round which could penetrate no less than 12 inches of 10% ordnance gelatin at 800 meters and no greater than 18 inches at 25 to 150 meters when fired from a 14.5 inch barrel or 25 to 450 meters when fired from an 11.5 inch barrel. A new 25 round polymer magazine has been developed for the rifle, sized somewhere between a 5.56 by 45 Stanag mag and a 7.62 by 51 AR-10 pattern magazine. The proprietary magazine was developed by an industry partner believed to be Magpul, and FN say that when fully loaded with 25 rounds, it's the equivalent weight to a Magpul PMAG loaded with 30 rounds of 5.56. From the IWTSD's 2019 BAA, we know that a box magazine no longer than a Stanag magazine with a self-lubricating non-tilt follower and high corrosion resistant magazine spring, which could be loaded from ammunition in stripper clips using speed loaders was required. The individual weapon system began concept development in the late 2010s. In 2018-19, IWTSD published their annual Broad Agency Announcements, which outlined the requirements for the IWS and its ammunition. 
Here's how IWTSD described the IWS and its ammunition. Tactical operators require an integrated, user-tailorable, lightweight, shoulder-fired individual weapon and lightweight intermediate caliber cartridge that can overmatch the current maximum effective range and terminal effects of peer and near-peer and future threat individual weapons and ammunition, while also defeating current and emerging threat individual protective equipment out to 800 meters. This weapon system shall be comprised of four main components, a lightweight 2.64 inch or 6.5 mm intermediate caliber projectile loaded in a lightweight polymer case, a lightweight purpose-built caliber 264 USA detachable box magazine, and a purpose-built lightweight modular weapon platform. The LICC IWS weapon system shall be developed, tested and delivered for developmental and operational testing by a single contractor who shall develop, obtain and integrate all subcomponents into a fully mature, safe and reliable system. In 2019, FN America was awarded a contract to develop a weapon system to meet the IWTSD requirement. FN America is the lead contractor on the development working with a team of other industry manufacturers, which include four ammunition manufacturers, a magazine manufacturer, and a suppressor developer. According to the 2019 BAA, the suppressor requirements stipulated that the sound signature shall be no greater than 140 decibels when measured at the operator's ear firing a 2.64 USA SOST style ammunition. It also calls for a suppressor to be not larger or heavier than a standard SOP mod suppressor. It also mentions that the suppressor should reduce back pressure and blowback into the weapon, suggesting a requirement for a flow through suppressor. The suppressor which was on display was indeed a flow through design which appears to be from Hooksworks, formerly OSS. FN representatives noted that the COVID pandemic inevitably slowed development, but by late 2020, the ITWSD had decided to accelerate the project. The summer of 2022 saw the weapon undergo initial user acceptance testing and performance evaluations. The IWS uses a long stroke piston operating system paired with a three lug rotating bolt. FN note that the weapon is designed to run without any adjustments while operating suppressed or unsuppressed by the virtue of a self-regulating gas block. The development of the ammunition and weapon has been an iterative process and three variants of the weapon are to be developed. A close quarters battle carbine with an 11.5 inch barrel, a carbine with a 14.5 inch barrel, and a recce or designated marksman rifle with an 18.5 inch barrel. FN America say that these variants weigh between seven and nine pounds, depending on configuration. The 2019 BAA gives some further details on the IWS variants and notes that it wanted operators to be able to change configurations by swapping out the upper receiver. The CQB carbine is expected to have a weight of between 6.5 and 7 pounds, the carbine a weight between 7 and 8 pounds, and the recce rifle a weight between 8 and 9 pounds. The weapon is fully ambidextrous, has a self-regulating gas block, a non-reciprocating charging handle on both sides of the weapon, a two-stage trigger, a self-contained operating group, a monolithic upper and a full-length top rail, as well as an M-lock forend. It also has a folding stock and several built-in recoil mitigation mechanisms. Details on these mechanisms haven't been disclosed yet. Interestingly, throughout its description of the desired weapon characteristics, the BAA uses the Colt Canada C8 SFW as a reference point for overall length, felt recoil, also noting that reliability, durability and safety of the LICC IWS shall be equal to or better than the Colt Canada C8 SFW with a 14.5 inch barrel. Later this year, FN America will be delivering 55 of the LICC IWS rifles in three configurations along with a number of Evolus based LICC assault machine guns. The references to the Colt Canada C8 SFW are likely because the Canadian Special Forces are a co-sponsor of the program and they will also be receiving a batch of the weapons and ammunition for testing and evaluation. It remains to be seen what applications the LICC IWS has in the field, but on the face of it appears to be an interesting answer to a similar question that the Army's Next Generation Squad Weapon Program has sought to answer.
Don't forget to check out my earlier video looking at the SIG MCX Spear, which was selected under the Next Generation Squad Weapon Program as the XM7. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you really enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting us either by Patreon or through YouTube memberships. There's a number of perks available to say thank you for your support, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.